Welcome to the Tremendous Hustle channel, everyone. We're going to be previewing Walmart's Black Friday sale that starts November 22nd. Now, as you're probably already aware, Black Friday has been going on for a little while now, and there have been plenty of deals, good deals, in fact. Uh, perhaps you saw my video that I posted last Friday regarding the laptops, the HP laptops that they had for sale, and many of the other items like the air fryer with the French doors. All those items were gone quickly that day. I uh, hope that you were able to secure one of those if that's what you're looking for. But if not, there will be other items that are hot ticket items that are what they used to call door busters. That's really not as big of an, of an issue, not as big of an issue now that there is online purchasing and in-store purchasing. But still, you want to kind of know exactly what's out there before you go. That's the way you really end up focusing your attention on exactly what you want. And because there will be so many sales, so many things listed in the ad, and so many things in the store that it's going to be really difficult to know okay, exactly what you want and what to focus on first. So as we go through some of these items that are available, I'll try to highlight that uh, and it'll kind of make a little bit more sense as I explain that later. So the best way to find this, of course, the website um, to me is not laid out the way that I would want it to be. Since Black Friday is the biggest deal, you really would want something bigger here. But what they're focusing on is the Walmart Plus membership. So they're trying to get as many people to join Walmart Plus, which is a monthly or yearly subscription, almost the same way that Amazon is with the Amazon Prime service. Now you do get some benefits. You can get a four hour head start on some of the hottest Black Friday deals. That means that some of these items may sell out if there are enough Walmart Plus members. You can start a free trial. It's a 15 day trial. But unfortunately, if you are a trial member, you do not get the four hour head start. So you would have to pay either the $12.95 for one month. If you want to try it out and you think that it's really worth it, that may be something you want to consider. Or go ahead and pay for one year and save a little bit by paying $98. But anyway, let's get into the deals. So you click at the top, see details, which to me, Black Friday should be all the way across the screen so that you can see a better ad. So let's take a look at this ad. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit and make this a little larger. So we have phones here, of course, and also the Samsung flip. So we have the iPhone, the new iPhone, the Samsung. These are always items that people are going to receive. They have some type of like e-gift um, deal where when you purchase it, you can get up to like five hundred dollars. Um, for the e-gift and it's like $500 Walmart I am not quite clear exactly on how that works or how soon you can use that uh, I will provide an update before Black Friday once I get a better clear uh, a little more clarity on that um, but I think you you have to actually have this activated with um, an actual service like these are not unlocked phones that you can just purchase and then activate at a later time I believe they in the store they want you to set up an appointment so that you activate these phones so if you need a new phone or if you're looking for a new phone service and you've been waiting to switch Black Friday is a good day to do that because every store including Walmart are offering offering deals to incentivize you to make that switch with them all right let's take a look at some of these other items we have this air fryer this power XL air fryer for $69 this right here is a item that I have my eye on and that I don't know why it keeps asking me if I I didn't try to add to list I just wanted to see the details but it's gonna be $109 so $90 off I think right now uh, in the lead up to Black Friday they've already reduced it $30 so you can probably get one today for $169 but if you really want one and you have the availability to try to get one on Monday morning this one for 109 is the lowest price that I've ever seen for a brand new one. Now it's not the newest series, um, but still, uh, it'll it's under support and it'll be it'll have all the features you know that you may need. Now, if you're really more focused on the newest features, then definitely uh, that's not the deal for you. Uh, this Xbox S Series X S console. Is a really nice one as well. Nice price, 
$2.99. So it's essentially $100 off. Now, clearly the Xbox Series X is the better console to get, but if you can't get that console, you know, this one for $2.99 will be a good deal and it will be a hot item that will go quickly. Now, once again, these deals start Monday at 7 p.m. online Eastern and then Friday 5 a.m. local in store. So as we go through this, we'll have to try to pay attention to those dates. But the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 are online only starting November 22nd. It doesn't tell you exactly the time. So if you are not on Twitter or Facebook and following one of these groups that actually will alert you to when the add to cart is available, you'll have to be on the website signed in before 7 p.m. just to continually kind of refresh and see if they're available. It's not easy getting these products. This is just comes with the territory. I've been able to secure both systems through Walmart in the past, uh, but it is tedious and don't give up until you know for sure that all of them are sold out because many, many times they will still, they will say sold out, but you'll refresh it 10 minutes later and it'll be some that are back in because not everybody goes through the process of actually checking out. Sometimes when they see the taxes, they're like, okay, that's too much or that's more than I thought it was going to be or uh, many people just back out. So, or perhaps their card fails. And so that one will wind up back in the inventory. And so you may have another opportunity. So the key to getting these items, whether it's the Xbox or the PlayStation or the Switch is to, if that's what you really want, focus in on it don't give up keep refreshing spend at least 10 15 minutes refreshing that item until you are certain that it's completely gone or until you can actually get it in the cart and check out be logged into the site as well for any of these deals these hot ticket deals you want to be signed in in advance so that you don't have any issues make sure that your payment information is already included and saved in your account all of these little things like your address your payment information they reduce the time that it takes for you to check out and gives you a higher chance of actually securing these big items the video games as well the one game I have my eye on in particular is not the ones they're showing here but it is the Hot Wheels Unleashed that game looks so much fun I'm a big Hot Wheels guy anyway I'm a Hot Wheels collector I resell Hot Wheels as well, so I'm really looking forward to getting that game and playing that game. And so I'm hopeful that that doesn't sell out before I get one. Uh, but I may be able to score one in store because I will be in store as well. And I'll be sure to record that and try to get as much footage for a video next week. Alright, moving on from the video games because the, the prices are pretty apparent. Most of the prices though, to be honest with you, you can find those same video games brand new right now on eBay. Uh, they're not that great of a discount for most of the games to be completely honest now laptops these are always a feature of black friday everybody wants i shouldn't say everybody many of you who are watching this video will want to invest in a new laptop no black friday has always been kind of the time that i've leveled up or gotten a new laptop um, and this one here in particular they need to fix that. Every time I click on it, it wants me to sign in. I don't like that. With this particular MSI gaming laptop, uh, it's an i5 processor. It's 15 inch screen, almost 16 inch screen. Um, it says full HD display, so it is not a 4K display. But so that may be, uh, uh, you know, that that may be a, a false start for some some of you. But it's got 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. If you're not a gamer, this will be a good system for, uh, you know, working online. This will be a good system for uh, streaming. This will be a good system for Zoom meetings, things of that nature. May not be the best gaming laptop, though, to be honest with you. If you're playing a game with a lot of feature-rich graphics, um, it, it may not be the best one. But you can always... I think this one is one that you can actually increase the RAM in. And so we have many other items here too. You have a Bose Solar Wireless headphones. You have uh, AirPods Pro, which are going to be $159. The regular AirPods are going to be, I believe, $99. Uh, 
So for $60 more, you can get the AirPods Pro. It's a little newer, has an active noise canceling feature, which will be really nice to have. And then many of these other features as well. I'm just gonna highlight the ones that, that really appealed to me and that I think uh, are gonna be the hardest ones to get. So this Vizio television for $498. Now, I saw this same television, 70 inch television today at our Walmart here uh, close to me. I cannot remember if it was already marked down to $498 or not. Um, I believe it was $598. But this was a really nice TV and I like Vizio televisions. I have a Vizio television that I bought around, um, I want to say maybe eight years ago and it's still working great. Um, Physios, LG's, Samsung uh, are typically the only ones that I really would spend my money on. However, this on television for 40 inch might be a good one if you just need a television for a guest room. Uh, if you have an Airbnb, if you uh, have one that you just want to put, you know, in a, a room for your kids, you know, so that they're not always using your television, this would be a good one. So one for the bedroom, one that you're not going to spend a ton of time using. Uh, you'll get the full use out of that at $128. Now this gateway laptop is something that I'm also interested in. Let's click on that. Let's click out of that. It includes one year membership to Microsoft 365, which is nice because that means you'll have Office. It also has a 15.6 inch display, four gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage. I'm going to try to get one of these. Um, just to set it up as our eBay shipping laptop. Our shipping laptop right, that we have right now is really old, really slow. Uh, the battery's dead. So I've been meaning to upgrade it all year. And I think this would be a good candidate for something like that. Something that's only going to be used for a few things. If you just need a laptop to get online and pay your bills, read the news, maybe watch some YouTube, um, this is, is a pretty good laptop. 179 I love the price. Okay, so the other one too for $149, it's a smaller one, it's a Celeron, um, $30 extra is definitely worth it. That's my personal opinion. This, however, does have a touch screen. If, it's, if it can go to the two-in-one format, then that almost always guarantees that it has a touch screen feature. So if that's important to you, go for it. I'm using a touch screen laptop right now to record this video, and I can tell you I've I probably use the touch screen two or three times a year that's it so it's not really the feature that you think you might use a lot all right when it comes to phones once again we kind of discuss some of these things you may want to take the time if you are interested in one of these things I suggest you really read over this no one likes reading the fine print but take the time to do it because it's going to save you a lot of headaches when you get in the store sometimes the associates that are there may not really even fully understand the deal I've seen it happen before and so the time that you're there can extend I mean you can spend two hours just trying to get a new phone at one of these stores so knowing exactly what the deal is what the cost is what the exact device is will ensure that you get what you want what you came in there for and you'll avoid the most headaches as possible and so I'm focusing a lot on the technology because I'm, I come from a technology background and so I'm hoping that some of these tips will assist you in that. Um, if you see any phones that are unlocked, and you, sometimes you may need to ask, do you have this same type of phone in unlocked? It may be more expensive, but then you don't have a monthly upcharge on your telephone service. If you decide to switch telephone services, you can probably take that phone with you. So most of the time, that's not going to be advertised. You're not going to see a lot of phones that are unlocked. But if you can find a phone that is unlocked, go for that because it gives you a lot more flexibility. You, one day you get mad, you don't like AT&T, you wanna to go to T-Mobile, you can take your phone with you without having to buy a new phone if they don't have a good you know, exchange program or, or whatever to upgrade you to another phone. Cases, um, don't really, believe me, there'll be plenty of cases left for weeks after this sale. Now this Ninja blender here, is a really good one. The high performance blender for $49 is pretty much 50% off. And so that is a good buy. This thing looks really cool. I have no idea if it's good though. 
uh, but this Power XL, the Power XL uh, has really good ratings. Um, most people like them, and they generally are effective. Now, the Magic Bullet for $15 is not a bad price. We've had a Magic Bullet in the past. The problem with the Magic Bullet is just capacity. If you're just making something for yourself, then it's a fine product to have. But if you're planning on making smoothies for your whole family, uh, you want to get a full-size blender. Uh, this particular, uh, I believe it's this one. To, no, it's this one right here, Anchor Bay. Let's take a look at that. This is a nice set as well. It is a 32-piece bake and store set. So it's storage and also has the baking dish, two baking dishes, and a pan, a pie pan dish. Uh, for $20 and this will be something that I think will be a very popular item so if you need something like this take a look for that make sure you add it to your list so that you can kind of make sure you grab some of those things first and then you can browse the store afterwards all right pioneer woman same as, as pretty much the anchor bay if this is something that you need it's a full set speak make a nice gift a housewarming gift to someone who just moved into their first apartment or moved into their first house um, things like this would be a nice thing to get them because they get a lot of the, the, the tools that they need to to get started it's not as much it's not as many items as I kind of would hope for $79 but the Pioneer Woman is a very popular brand now the dinnerware set for $30 as well is, is nice once again 20 pieces is, is pretty good it's pretty, I'm not going to complain. $30 for, for 20 pieces of a name brand dish set is not bad. And not every deal can just be a killer deal. You know, some deals are just good deals for some things that you want. Now this Brookstone heated faux fur throw is awesome. $30. These heated throws are excellent. Um, and for $30, that's, that's a great price. Brookstone is, is not generally um, a cheap brand either. Um, well, in my opinion. All right, so some of the other things too. The Roomba. This is the big one. 349. Maybe something. They've had a ton of vacuums this year. And so if you needed a vacuum, definitely you could easily find a vacuum. There's still probably some vacuums at your Walmart from last week's sale. But there will be some more. And the prices will be a little bit lower for some of these higher end vacuums. This outdoor heater, 109 not a tremendously great price but still a very good price going into winter um, the, the you know pressure washer is another good one these weights as well weights are very expensive now I wish it was a little bit more than just 25 pounds though but uh, 25 pounds $150 you're not gonna find it anywhere cheaper um, not a big guy on clothing clothing will be there pretty much all week there will be some clothes for several days so don't unless you really just need clothes if that's the whole thing that you love about Black Friday is getting new wardrobe for the kids um, it's a good source for that but it is not really what I consider a major draw for Black Friday okay we're coming down to the end of it the hot tub here now this is called a Sal a Spa. Hollywood Portable Spa for $2.98. So for $2.98, um, you can get this inflatable. It's actually pretty big, too. It says 77 inches by 26 inches, and it can seat four to six people. I'm, I'm assuming that's six little people, six kids, maybe, but four, <laughs> four people comfortably, probably four adults. And uh, $2.98, uh, I don't have anywhere to put this, but I want this. <laughs> I wish we we have a gazebo, but it already has a, a gas fire pit built onto it. And it's like, man, I wish I could actually disconnect that and use that, you know, there. But really nice one. Be a nice thing to have something that you can put away um, as well. You know, if the weather weather got too inclement, inclement. And let's move on. And I believe we've reached our last page, page 20. Now, these these little hoverboards $79 that's the lowest price now the hoverboards that are there now I think it's might even be this exact same one I think they're like 138 or 128 I'm not sure exactly which model because there were models there that were 128 and 138 
when I double checked today and when I also showed it in my video last week. But these for $79, really good price. Love that he's got on the elbow pads and knee pads and, and helmet too. Walmart's trying to protect themselves <laughs> from lawsuits when your kid falls and if they hurt themselves. But no, all jokes aside, um, this upcoming week is the time to do that. And so there will be these deals pretty much will all be starting on the 22nd and then running through uh, Friday and then Friday at 5 a.m. Um, is where you'll be able to find all these things in the store. So Monday, this is a little different this year. So Monday through Thursday is pretty much just all online. And then Friday, you're going to find some of these same items. So you can try to get these online. And if you, you know, if you strike out, then you can just try to make it there Friday at 5 a.m. to find some of these same items in store. I kind of like the way that they've done it. Uh, it should cut down on some of the crowd because many people will probably already have completed their Black Friday shopping online and they won't need to even go to the store early in the morning. So I like this strategy, the way that they're doing it. And I think, you know, you can get the items that you want. Generally with Walmart, I found that I've been able to get 90% of the things that I've wanted. If I wanted 10 things, I've been able to get nine things and probably two other things that I didn't even realize that I wanted until I got in the store and took a good close look at them. So I hope that helps. I hope the tips that I gave you regarding the technology, the laptops, and the phones proves to be helpful as well. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing so that uh, I can continue to make content and it really helps me out, helps me to know what people are interested in and what they are not interested in so that I'm not wasting my time presenting content that just doesn't interest you. I want to try to be as helpful as possible as well. So thanks a lot for watching and I hope you have a great day. A great Black Friday. Bye bye.